name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 17 day of October being Thursday, and we're 28, not that time of church calendar. Yet be. Today, the mother celebrates the memorial of St. Ignatius of Antioch, the bishop and matter of the church. Our readings will be coming from St. Paul letter to the Ephesians chapter 1, verse 1 to 10. A response to sound comes from Psalm 98, verse 2a. A gospel message will come from Luke Gospel chapter 11, verse 47 to 54. The theme of our message today is, he chose us in him. He chose us in Christ. Yes, he chose us in Christ. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Not to come and condemn the world, but that we through him the world might have life. And now why he came. And his son came into the world to glorify the father and to live his life for the good of others. And he had made, delivered everything to the hands of his son. Yes. John chapter 3 verse 16. And anyone who believes in him will have eternal life. And in this his only begotten son he chose us. Yes. And say he chose us in him. And all the blessings, both the spiritual, heavenly blessings and spiritual blessings, has conferred on us through his only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I will say, we're well, blessing God the Father, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. Look at it. He chose you because in him who is holy, that you be holy. And blameless before him. That's the aim. I will live in him blamelessly in him. He destined us in love. Yes, he destined all of us in love. He created us in love and love of his only begotten son. To be his son through Jesus Christ. We become the son of God through Jesus. Adopted children of God through Christ. According to the purpose of his will. To the praise of his glorious grace. Which he freely bestowed on us. Yes. In the beloved. In him we have redemption. Yes, in him we have redemption through his blood. The forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us, telling us how much you are choosing in him. Paul is analyzing this. For he has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will. He has made known to us the mystery of his will. According to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ, look at it, he chose us in him, as a plan for the fullness of time to unite things in him, all things in him and things in heaven and things on earth. That's the purpose. And they want all of us to be united in him. Remember the prayer of Jesus, that we will be one. He knows the Father in him, and we shall be one. He blessed us in him, and he turned good for us in him. He chose us in him to live a life of holiness and blameless life. For the glory of God and for good of others, as the man we are choosing to live out as an example for all of us to follow. And now when the psalmist who understood this so well today, this say, the Lord had made known his salvation. He had made known his salvation to all of us. That our salvation lies in his son, and he has recruited on his son. And John chapter 1, verse 12, he said, For all who accepted this word, he gave them the privilege of being called the two sons of God, who accepted the Son, accepted the word, that two flesh. And were initiated in him by baptism. 
I will be him and he will be in us. That's why today people who would not want to adhere to that, who don't want to follow that path, decided to go against him. Yes, if you are not with him, you are against him. If you don't gather with him, you scatter us. He has chosen us in him. Anytime you see yourself doing the opposite, you're already becoming an antichrist. You are working against your master. You are working against the plan of God in your life. Yes, that's what it all means. And when you walk against Christ, you become an enemy of Christ, God. That's why I thought Jesus said to the Pharisees, who are doing this exactly, that choose it in Christ, but they don't want to give it to that. They decided to do their own things their own way. And rather to persecute him to whom they are choosing to live with. Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets whom your father killed. Your father do the killing and you do the building of the tombs. So you are witnesses. Then this, by this act, you are witnesses. You witness to con consent to the deeds of your fathers. Yes. You associate yourself with the deeds of your fathers. For they kill them and you build their tombs. Yes. Accomplice. Therefore, also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some whom they will, they will kill and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation. Yes, may be required of this generation. Because you have no reason to do that. You get good and say evil is good. You reject life and say death is better. You reject, causes, you reject blessings and say causes is better. That will be held accountable for the death of all the prophets and the apostles. Begin from Eber to Zachariah. Who pray between the altar and the sanctuary to show you the level of wantonness and the punity. Yes, I tell you, it shall be required of this generation. Woe to you lawyers, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. You did not enter yourselves, and you hinder those who want to enter. Those who are entering, were entering, you would refuse them. Do you see that type of life? You will not enter, you will not allow us to enter. As you went away, that's that what he has told them, crisp and clear. I chose in God, you rejected God, and decided to pay the good the people who sent to help you to actualize the intention of plan of God in your allies. You fight against them, you kill them. You did everything to them. You hinder people from going them. You have the knowledge of this truth. You refuse all that. You don't enter yourself, and you don't allow others to enter. How will you be cursed? War upon you. Because God chose you in him, and you rejected it. And that's why the psalmist, that's why today we are celebrating St. Ignatius of Antioch. Having made known the salvation to all of us, St. Ignatius of Antioch is a bishop and martyr of the church. St. Ignatius succeeded St. Peter as the bishop of Antioch. Of the Antioch. While on his way to Rome, where he was sentenced to be thrown to the beast in the amphitheater, he wrote seven letters to different churches, various churches encouraging the people of God to be steadfast in their faith and never give up in face of persecution. Encourage them to live a communal life and be obedient to their bishops. That's what he was evangelizing when he was going to face his death. He didn't shrink from it. And that's why having encouraged Christians to be faithful to their callings He died, he was killed during the reign of Trajan in the 107. And was celebrating because he was chosen by God. And he lived for God that chose him. 
encouraging people to live by their calling, and they lived out the calling too. But who don't want to live out the calling that the people God calls to them who are upon you? Yes, who are upon you, you care and pay the good. The prophets and apostles sent to help you to share in the call of God. Now we are celebrating this today. May God help all of us to understand today that we are chosen in Him, in Christ. And with all the blessings in heavenly places, all the spiritual blessings have been poured upon us. And He chose us that we shall live a life of holiness and blameless life in Him. May we understand this message today. We are chosen in Him, and so we live in Him. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate the grace of being chosen in God and living in God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.